We know it's been 11 days since Hurricane Ian, you know, devastated Southwest Florida. And one of those areas that was hit pretty hard is, you know, right here where we are in Cape Coral. Yeah, and really the big problem with all the winds and flooding has been power. A lot of people obviously being very frustrated with just seeing how long it's taken for a lot of us to get the power right. back. And like you had just said, it's been 11 days and a lot of us have been 11 days without power. So a lot of people are wondering where do we stand when it comes to getting that power back? And for that, more information coming from Fox 4's Yvette Sanchez. He's actually joining us live in Cape Coral with the latest from LCEC and Yvette. You know, we've been hearing a lot of numbers from FPL saying that they're getting about 99% back today, but it seems like we're lagging behind with LCEC. That's right, John, and it might seem like that for a lot of customers because, like you guys have said, it has been a long 11 days for them. And representatives from LCEC had been saying that all power would be restored as of yesterday, Saturday, October 8th. I'm going to take a step to the right so you guys can see just what's going on behind me. This is about half a block down from the LCEC substation here on Pine Island, and these workers are working hard to get things done as quick as they can. And just a few minutes ago, we, re we received the most up-to-date numbers from LCEC this morning. On Marco Island, 833 people are without power, but 18,749 are with power. Amakali, 284 are without power. Lehigh Acres, 126 without power. North Fort Myers, 4,328 without power. And here in Cape Coral, 12,900 still without power, but 76,376 are with power. Now, if you compare that to the numbers that we told you earlier this morning at around 6.05 a.m., Broward County was at 96% restored, Collier County 95% restored, Hendry County 100% restored, Charlotte County 94% restored, Lee County at 84% restored. Now LCEC did say in their latest update that they are doing all they can to make sure they restore as much power as they possibly can. But you can see there is some difference between the two numbers from last night's update at 10 p.m. to today's update at 6 a.m. If we get any more new numbers or more information, we will be sure to keep you updated on fox4now.com. But for right now in Cape Coral, Yvette Sanchez, Fox 4.